What's good, YouTube fam? All right, I'm coming with coming at y'all with a small um, haul. Some of the items that I got were gifts from my girl, uh, Mignon D. Y'all definitely need to go check out her channel. She does awesome tutorials, um, uh, makeup reviews, and things like that. And if you check her out, definitely check out her girl, uh, Coco Fam. She is a riot, and she does awesome um, makeup and Sunday songs that child can sing for real. Like she almost owed me a new monitor because I had to smack my I had to smack my monitor to try to smack her because she was cutting up a song. That child really can sing for real. So, anyways, these are some of the products that she sent me in the mail. She was just so nice enough to um because I think I had mentioned in the videos that I wanted to try some sugar pill cosmetics, and she sent me some sugar pill pigments, and I was so excited about that. And so they came in the mail today. Thank you, girl. I really appreciate that. That was really really sweet of you. And she sent me three pigments, um, and she wrote the names on the bottom. This this one is called um, Darling, and it is a really pretty um, teal color, teal color green. I think my camera is making it to be out more blue, but I'll definitely give a swatch. Yo, I'm not going to stick my finger in here because I think my nail is going to mess it up. So I'm going to have to use a brush. And I'm, I don't have any base applied. So anyway, this is what that teal color looks like. It's definitely more teal than it is, than, than my um, camera is allowing it to show. It's showing up really vibrantly blue, but it is definitely a really pretty teal color. It's in Darling. Y'all check out for a true color match. Check out the um, um, Sugar Peel Cosmetics um, website. You'll definitely be able to see a true color to this because um, my camera is showing it to be very, very, very blue. And it is actually a really good aqua teal color. Really beautiful aqua teal color. The next pigment that she sent me is, and it does have some teal, I will say it has teal reflex in it, the same color teal reflex in it as the actual um, pigment. She sent me another color, um, and this one is in Royal Sugar. Now, this is a royal blue. And once again, I think my camera is showing it to be way more, the color is definitely off, because this is a really kind of, darkish royal blue and I'll give a swatch of that too and it's got a ton of uh, blue glitter reflex in it and it's this one right here and it's definitely a true royal blue color with a lot of sparkle in it like I said my camera is not doing those shadows there, oh, there you go so you see how this one's teal um, Darling is teal, and then the royal blue is definitely a royal. And they do have um, uh, some glitter reflex in it, the same color as the actual pigment. And then she sent me a black one, and this one is called Stella. And it's a black pigment with all that beautiful glitter. Y'all see that? Oof, I can't wait to go out and do like a nasty smoky look with this. A nasty smoky look. Look at that black, y'all. It's got a crap ton of just, and not even silver, it, all different color reflex, very finely milled reflex in there, glitter in there. That is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful color pigments. I, I, I am really feeling they, they pigments. Um, they some great pigments. Thank you. Thank you, lady, for sending those to me. I really appreciate that. I'm definitely going to rock them. I can't wait to do a nasty smoky eye with that black pigment. Oh, yes, sir. Also in the package that she sent me, she sent me a little sample of the uh, Beckham Signature Perfume. This is on my list of perfumes to buy. I love perfume, y'all. I am really, lately, I've really been getting into perfume. I had kind of got out of perfume once I had my twins because um, I didn't want it to mess up their face, you know, when you hold them and things like that because, um, Sometimes that can definitely, their skin is sensitive, sensitive when they're born and it'll mess with their skin. So I stopped wearing perfume and um, I got back into it and I've really been trying to build my collection up, but I really love perfume and I love this scent. This is on my list of things to buy along with the um, Sean John, um, I think it's black for women. That's on my list of things to buy. I heard that scent was really sexy, like woof. Like, really, really, really sexy. And she also sent me a little sample of a tart lip gloss, which I don't have any, I don't own any tart lip glosses. So I was really excited about this. I love the thickness or the consistency of this, um, this gloss. I like my glosses not to be very thin because they tend to wear off really quickly. So I'm really feeling the consistency, the consistency of this lip gloss. And I'm not for sure of the color. 
but I'll give you a swatch of it. And it's just a really light pink color, really great for the summertime. So I was excited about that. Thank you, girl. Um, like I said, y'all definitely need to check out her channel and check out her girl's channel, um, Mignon D and uh, Coco Film. Yes, definitely check out their channels. So anyway, I do also have a little bit of a haul. Y'all know Sephora had that 15% off sale thing in Revolver. So I wanted to get something. I wanted to make use of that 50% somehow. So I just got this Urban Decay um, shadow box. And this was like $16.50 or maybe $19.50. One of the two. I didn't want to. I really wasn't seeing anything that I really, really wanted. Um, I definitely wanted a uh, couple eyeshadows out of this palette. Um, some of them I already have because they're in the Urban Decay Naked palette. But there were some colors that weren't in there that I definitely was looking at. Um, some brighter colors. So, And like I said, it was pretty cheap. Comes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion, like always. A little small mini one. And this is what... And it also comes with a... Um, Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eyeliner in Zero. I've never tried a 24-7 um, uh, liner. Um, it is similar to the... Um, definitely similar to the Milani. It's actually just like the Milani um, Liquify Liner. Just like it. Except I think the Milani Liquify Liner is a little bit more dark than this one. So, mm, I don't know how much that liner costs, but I'd say I'll be sticking with my Milani's. Thank you, though. I'll use it. So anyway, these are what the colors look like. Um, it has this really, really, really pretty bright purple color is what I was really looking at. And this blue color. And I really like that green neutral color. So I was really feeling these. I swatched, I swatched the new ones, that, um, the colors that I don't have. Wipe off my finger. And Mildew is that green color. I was really feeling that color. Okay, and this is Snatch right here. This is um, Painkiller. Y'all know I like that color. And this is Mildew, that really pretty green color and that purple. Y'all see that purple color? Need I say any more? Flash. Yeah. I will be doing a, a look with that. Ooh, I'm feeling it. Definitely. And that's it. Swatched on my hands. Really feeling it. I'm really feeling Arbor Decay shadows. They really have really awesome, great pigmentation. They have really some really nice, vibrant, bright colors because I do like bright colors. Um, even, although I will wear a neutral color um, most of the day. Some days in the summertime, I definitely like to pop on a bright um, eyeshadow, eyeshadow look. So anyway, I was at, um, where was I at? Myers. And um, I've definitely really been feeling nail polishes ever since I started to let my nails grow. And I saw, I've never tried this line before. It's called Studio M. But I, when I seen these colors, I immediately had an idea for a nail design. So I had to pick them up as soon as I seen these colors. Love, 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 love these colors. This is like a minty green color. Um, I don't think the um, camera is picking um, picking the color up. It's not true to color. It's a really pretty teal, light teal, minty color. So I'm really feeling that. Um, I think the color is in Spring is in the Air. This one is in Kind of Fluffy, which is a pretty pink color with some purple undertones. Beautiful color. And then this one is in... Um, Cute Chick, which is a purple color with some with a lot of glitter in it. A lot of glitter in it. Really beautiful purple color. I was really feeling that. So I already have an idea for a nail design for them three colors. Like it's already done. Also, I was in the nail shop. Um, not the nail, I say the nail shop. I don't even go to the nail shop. I do my own nails. I was at the beauty supply store and I picked up this nail polish right here. That is super neon pink. Like for real. This is the truth. Seriously, neon pink. And I don't even know the name of it. This oh, hot pink obsession. Yeah. That's the truth right there. And this I I did a swatch of it on a piece of paper. I can't even find it. But y'all was how it looks like this in the bottle is how it swatches. Because it is true to color. Also picked up some um, Milani Bake Shadows. Now I picked up these. I didn't pick these up. All of these I didn't just pick up. I've had them for maybe a couple weeks and I just haven't hauled them. And I'm hauling them now. So these are some Milani Bake sh Metallic Bake Shadows that I picked up. This one color is in uh, Perfect Pink Purple. And it's a really pretty metallic -y purple color. I was really feeling this. My lighting is all the way off because of the bad weather here in Cincinnati. I'm, I'm so sick of this weather. I've had enough. But this is really pretty um, dark metallic -y purple color. I don't know. I was really feeling that. 
Um, another color that I picked up also was this um, really nice blue color. It's in Teal Truth. My camera is not doing this, uh, this shadow any justice at all because of the lighting. It's horrible here, but I will give you a nice swatch of that. It's a really nice dark, darker tone teal color, and I just love it. Look at that. Love it. Love, 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 love it. And then I also picked up, um, what is this, Drenched in Gold. This is just a really nice light gold color. Really nice light gold. And it just looks like that. So, I was really feeling those. I love Milani baked eyeshadows, whether they're the regular ones or the metallic ones. They are just, I love their eyeshadows. I love, love, love them. Um, also, I was at, um, what was I at? Walgreens. I had a coupon, a couple coupons, in-store coupons. And I wanted to try, I think my girl, um, what is it? Miss Barbie Jones had mentioned the new CoverGirl lipsticks. And I wanted to try them out. So I had two coupons, so I only bought two lipsticks. And this is the CoverGirl lipsticks. I have one in Divine, which is this color right here. And this is actually what I have on my lips. And... It looks like that. It's a really pretty purple color. I believe this is uh, pretty much almost the only like purple color lipstick that I have like this. I have some grapes but I don't, and some plums, but I don't have a purple like this. So I was really feeling this lipstick. Definitely really feeling this. And then I also picked up this color, and this is in um, Enchantress. And it's a really pretty, like vibrant pink color. I mean, for real. It's vibrant pink. And it looks like that. Yeah, it's bright pink. So those are the two um, lipsticks. I think I had um, $4 coupon. And then I think I had two $4 coupons. And these were like $6. So I paid like $2. I, actually, I might have got one free because I think it was buy one, get one half off or something like that. So yeah, y'all don't play with them coupons. I also picked up um, this um, Colossal Mascara. And I have not tried this mascara, but I've always... I wanted to try it. Um, I've heard a couple people talk about it and say that it's a really great mascara. So I definitely can't wait to try this. This is going to have to go on my um, backup stash until I finish the mascara. Because y'all know I recently opened those stiletto lashes. So I'm definitely really feeling those. Now I was in Myers, And I don't have any Jane shadows. I, I don't have any of them at all. Not that I can think of. Maybe. Maybe some singles. No, actually, I don't. I don't have any Jane shadows. So I saw these quads. And this quad is in, um, what is it? Milan. Really pretty neutral quad. It's got an eggplant purple right here. This nice, deep, metallic-y uh, blue color. A really beautiful grayish color that reminds me of, um, I believe it's, oh Lord, one of those colors on the Urban Decay Naked Palette. I can't remember the name. And then this really beautiful, um, nice highlight. I was really feeling this palette. Um, for a good um, everyday, you can make a really good everyday neutral eye or smoky eye out of this. And they were really, they were actually pretty cheap, so that's why I picked them up. Um, I also picked up this palette. This is in browns, and I've heard a lot about this brown color. Oh, was it Brownie Points? Yes. Brownie points. I've heard a lot of rave about this brownie points color. And this is similar to that um, brown in the vanity palette, which is great for going in the crease almost on any eyeshadow look that you uh, try to do um, or that you're doing. This is a great brown. Sim very similar to that brown in the vanity palette. Really beautiful matte brown. And it's just some neutral color, so good for every day. So I was really feeling that. And then this one is another one that's pretty much good for every day, but they have more shimmery colors. Those are more matte. And it's got a really nice green color, that mauvey green in here, um, some champagne colors, um, and then a really nice highlight. So this is going to be really great for every day when you're wearing some nice light tans and some browns. So I was definitely feeling this palette. And this palette is called um, Hollywood. Um, I also picked up, I don't have any NYC shadows. 
I just don't. I don't know why. I've kind of been. I think what happened was when I bought one of the NYC's blushes, I wasn't feeling it. Not for um, my skin tone. Um, I wasn't feeling it. Had I been really, really light or um, not a woman of color, I probably would have been. It probably would have been okay for me. But it was definitely really, really, really light. So I did pick up this color. I don't have um, any oranges outside of the oranges that are in my um, sleep palette. But that is a bright orange and a bright yellow. And I don't have any yellows either. But I'll try playing with these colors. And they are a little chalky. Like they're going to need some help. Like you see, I've been rubbing. I'm trying to get y'all a good swatch. And it's really not working all out that well. And that's the problem with matte colors. Sometimes they are just wind up being chalky. And see, I can get a really good swatch because they're a little chalky. So it didn't cost me much. I'm going to still try to work on I'll let you know how I'm feeling about this. And this was in Upper Zest Side. First NYC Shadows. And um, I'm not all that impressed. I will say that. Definitely not all that impressed because they, they, they chalky for real. So anyway, also while I was at the beauty supply store, I picked up some NYX shadows because the beauty supply store around my house, they sell NYX products. But I noticed that they kind of, they kind of like, mm, they, they, they NYX collection is kind of dwindling a little bit. I appreciate that because they used to have all the NYX um, round lipsticks and those was MIA today. Um, also, they used to have a, a, almost all of the mega shines and them have has been cut in half and then half again because they don't really have that many so I was a little bit sorry about that so anyway this color is in wildfire now once again my camera's not doing this shadow any justice this is a really beautiful teal color with some gold maybe even actually there might be silver reflex in it and it is a beautiful it's a lot lighter than what my camera's showing but beautiful 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 shadow I'll give you all a swatch of that and that's Wildflower. Ooh, shama -nama -nama. I dropped the shadow. Hopefully it didn't break. Um, also, I picked up um, another color. This is in Lagoon. And like my, my camera is not getting, my lighting is so bad today. It's not giving any justice. Now, this is a lighter teal color and it does have silver reflex in it. Really beautiful. I have nothing bad to say about NYX shadows. NYX shadows are truly really, really great. I haven't ran across a bad NYX shadow at all. Um, those are two colors that I definitely didn't have and I definitely wanted to try them out. Also, while I was at Myers, like I said, I'm trying to build up my perfume collection. Um, I really, really am feeling perfumes. Um, and I picked up these two perfumes. Now, this one is called Vampire. I can't remember who makes this. It's not anybody super spectacular or really super special. But y'all, the scent is so sexy and naughty. This is good for the nighttime. It's sweet. It's got a sultry scent, a really, oh my goodness, really dark vampire. It says vampire, a really dark, sexy, sultry scent. And it's also sweet. I, I was really feeling this. This is great for nighttime, for a date with your husband or boyfriend or girlfriend. Whichever one. And that's a really good scent for that. I also picked up Halle Berry's perfume. This is in um, Pure Orchids. And the only reason why I actually bought this perfume is because it was on sale for, I believe, $20. And they had a, a, a instant saving $5 coupon on top of it. So I got this for like $15. And I have this on today. This is a perfect summer scent. It smells like sweet orchids. That's pretty much what it smells like. It's very light. Um, if you're not big into floral scents, um, you still probably may like this because it's not very heavily floral because it's got a sweet undertone to it. And this is a very, very, very good everyday scent. So I'm really feeling this scent. So that is pretty much it for the haul. Those are pretty much it for all the products that I did pick up and the products that I received as a gift from my girl. So anyway, um, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys.